I will show you an example how to get the IP address of a container and uh, how to handle the ports. As an example, I do have a very small Python web server, so it writes a simple web page and then it will start up the HTTP server through Python. Default it runs on port 8000, so I do an expose 8000 so that I can automatically map a port to this uh, port. In order to start, I will build this image, docker build, and I'll tag it Python image and I use the current uh, docker file and it's docker so the image is ready now I will run uh, the container with this image um, I do give it a new name I'll name it uh, Python C and I'll use the Python image that I created. Then um, I will run this as a daemon so that I'm detached and I will map the port, uh, my own port 8888 to the port 8000 because I know it's running on port 8000 within my container. When I do a docker uh, container ls you'll see that it's uh, running here as Python C and also that it maps its ports uh, to uh, 888, 8888 to port 8000. Uh, same can be seen in while doing Docker PS, um, which shows the same output. Um, <clears throat> so if I want to look at the site, I can use links HTTP um, just a text mode browser to look at the local host port um, 88888 and you'll see that it will connect to the container which is running inside. Uh, this way it is uh, everyone within my uh, own network can connect to uh, this web uh, so to port 8888 of my own machine. So I can use instead of local host my host name or my IP address uh, for a connection. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is connect uh, to the container directly, maybe for testing purposes. If I want to direct uh, dir connect directly, I do have to uh, know the IP address. So I can do a doc docker exec um, on the container. The container is called Python C and I will run the command IP address. So I'll see it's uh, point three, point 0.3 at the end. I might also use if config. So in this image, it's an Alpine image. It will um, sh work. It will have both commands, but not every Linux does have these uh, commands. So you're stuck if uh, you don't know the commands to access. Uh, this information. The only way to access it then is by um, using docker inspect with the container ID. So if I do a docker inspect of Python C, then I will see uh, also the vo volumes. Uh, I can also see the ports that are mapped. Port 8000 is uh, mapped from uh, port 8888 from my host. Uh, in IPv4 uh, and IPv6 and I will see uh, the uh, IP address of my uh, container. So I can use this information to access it directly within the container on port 8000. So I do uh, 172.17.0.3 then I can ac access it directly. That's because I'm on the host. So if I'm on the host, I can access it directly. Um, problem when starting it up with this uh, command, uh, run command, is that I can't, I can't run this the second time. If I run it the second time, I will have a problem. First of all, it has the same name. Python C is used already. So I might change this name. I might use uh, C2. Uh, as a name, but it still have a problem that is uh, this port 8888. That's the same port that is running on my uh, host already, so I can't use that number. So if you do this, um, 
Python C2, another name, it still said the port is already allocated. That's my port 8888 that is allocated. So if I want to do it correctly, I uh, in, in with these options, I do have to specify a new name and a new port number in order to run uh, this uh, image. Right now, there I have two um, containers running. So I have it running on port 8889 and 8888. A um, uh, simpler way to uh, access it is using the expose port and then my machine will uh, generate uh, a number itself uh, for the container. So if I do a P, a large P, a capitalized P, then it will uh, generate a number itself. I'll call it uh, C4 or uh, maybe I can just omit the name and it will generate a name itself. This way, if I do it like this, I can run it this command, the same command, uh, a few times. It'll just uh, get a new name, it will get a new port when it's necessary. To look up the ports, I can do a docker ps, and you'll see that it uh, chooses its own ports. It's uh, first time it chose uh, 32,775 and uh, 76 the second time. It also uh, generates uh, its own name. You see here the optimistic alien and the flamboyant hellman. It's uh, generating its own names and, of course, uh, container numbers. That way, all containers and port numbers are unique. And that's the way that you can uh, access and see your IP addresses and your ports uh, within the, for the containers. Maybe just to remove a Docker uh, stop. I do have to stop the containers. I might use the numbers here. I might copy uh, this number, maybe the the other number too. Just just an example to stop uh, the containers. Voila. And then uh, well, it might take some time. A kill goes faster, but the stop is the nicest way to clean up uh, stuff. And then I, uh, when they are stopped, I can do a remove uh, of the containers. Uh, when I'm doing remove, then the port is freed too. Yeah? Then there are no uh, more firewall rules that uh, give access to this port or do a port map towards the container. So that's the way to use uh, IP addresses and uh, ports uh, in Docker.